Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new new video, you'll be alerted to it. So today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to do a budget challenge. And we will get our thrifty on right, right after, after this. this. Oh my goodness, can you believe what is in the mail today? I know you have to lay down. This is like so overwhelming. Look at this. Oh my gracious. Look at the size of this thing. This is ridiculous. We're gonna have to build onto our house in order to display it. All right, so Tabitha is beside herself with anticipation. She cannot wait to see daddy's reaction to his new giant screen. Don't look at my laundry. Yes, the laundry pile is real. Charity's like on security for that though, so it'll be fine. But I just wanna see what is Joe's reaction to his new big screen monitor. Oop. Unlocking the door would be helpful. Hey! Hey! You got mail! I got mail? Yes. My monitor? Giant mail that like the UPS guy had to help me haul in. Okay. Are you excited? Let me see this. Is this like Christmas morning? Dirty guy. Oh my gosh, look how big that thing is. <laughs> that thing is huge. Is it gonna fit on my desk? I don't think so. So I'm sitting in the kitchen and there's an envelope full of cash on the counter. Well, it's not that much cash. It's my pay from this weekend because I got paid in cash games this week. Should I be concerned? Probably you should be concerned because we, we went just a little bit over budget on the monitor because like I was getting the smaller one. I was going to get the 38 inch one. And then I was like, oh, but that well, nice wait, 49 inch one, which I don't even know if this is going to fit on my desk. That's the worst part about that. Is this where you're telling me that like we're getting rid of my car and we're going to be like a one car household now? No, but that's a really good idea. No, it is not a good idea. No. no. So here's what I came up with is we have to save a little bit of money. We have to, we have to put away the difference in the two monitors. So we're going to do this week keto on a budget. What kind of budget? So instead of like a full day of eating, we're gonna do a full week of eating. And this is going to be on a budget. So what is the budget? Okay, so my calories for this week on our reverse diet are 2,282 calories. Mine is 1732. It's like wildly specific. Because we're going up a percentage wise each uh, week. I want my two calories. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay. So you're at how much? 1732. 17, 17, 32, 32. And I'm at 2282. Okay. So that means I'm about 500 calories over you, right? Yeah. Okay. So you bragging. I'm going to give you $30. Okay. That has to cover all of your food for the whole week. 30 bucks. For five days? For five days. So yeah, we're going to do five days. $6 a day. So $6 a day. But that has to include. Your, like, if you have a zip fizz, if you drink coffee, if you drink seltzer water, or if you drink a Zevia. Okay, well, the only thing I definitely want is the zip fizz. How much is that? A dollar. Let's iron out the rules of this right here so that we're on the same page on video. <laughs> spices are free. You don't have to pay for spices. Because well, that's generous. Anybody who's got a keto kitchen is going to have some spices, right? Or you're going to buy them once and then you're going to have a pile of spices. Not going to make me buy You don't have to go so and buy sweet. a serving. But you do have to buy butter. Okay. You, nothing, anything else that you use. Coconut in, oil. Anything else that you use in the house, you have to deduct how much it would be per serving. Wow. So if you use butter, we'll figure out how much a tablespoon of butter is, or unless you're, you know, we'll just go buy that yeah, stuff. I'll just buy my own brick of butter. So yeah, anything else you use, like if we have open heavy cream, we'll figure out how much it is per serving. Or if you use the maple pumpkin creamer, we'll figure out how much it is per serving. And you have to deduct that out of your $30. So I get $30 and you get $30. No, I get $40. Why do you 
get Let me $40. Get my $40. It's your monitor. But I have 500 more calories than you. Tough it's, titty, said the kitty when the milk went I dry. Think that's, that's fair. I Actually, I think about 550 more calories, don't I? Yeah, I have 550 more calories than you. So I think $2 more a day. I think you should be going hungry. Okay, so, so again, now, so we're going to do... Anything other than spices has to come out of your budget. And then we're going to go food shopping right now. So I'll give you a few minutes to figure out what you're going to eat for the week. So five days. Five days. A zip fizz is going to cost me a dollar a day. A dollar a day. I'm going to change in for a five right so now. So you've got $25 to spend for your food every week. Now, if you make coffee at home, let's figure out. So... How much do we pay for our coffee? We pay. You're charging me for coffee? Yes, absolutely. Because somebody who's on a budget's got to pay for it. They want coffee, right? And I guess I'm drinking water. So, you know what? We'll be fair. We, you know, we do beans. We usually pay like eight or nine dollars a pound for the beans. We'll go with a Costco price on beans at five dollars or four dollars a pound. So, how about if you have. Listen to this man. How about if you have a cup of coffee? It will cost you 50 cents. I'm going to start mooching off of people. Hey, friends in the local area, if I can come get a cup of coffee at your house and not have to pay for it, that would be awesome. So a cup of coffee is 50 cents. A Zevia is 50 cents. And uh, a Seltzer water is 50 cents. Because we, and then we're going nice on the Zevia. That cost, the Zevia cost me 50 That's cents. true. We're going nice saying that we're going to base it on sale prices. Like we got that Zevia at less than 50 cents a can. We're not going to go by the normal price, which is like 85 cents a can. So what do you think? I think I'm scared, but I think, and I think I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm nervous. <laughs> can you do this? We're going to see. Keto on a budget, $6 and $8. And I think that's equivalent to most keto on the budget you see for $5 or less is for like 1,400 calories. Well, now I'm down to $5. You're because... down to $5 a day for for 1,732 calories. And I'm at, I'm at $8 a day. But I haven't taken out my drinks yet. Okay. Okay? I think you'll have a harder time with the drinks. So let's do this. Let's go to the store. And we have to go pick up mail. We have mail at the mailbox place. We got mail. And we'll go Some to the store news. and we'll show you guys what we get. And then we will begin a Keto on the Budget Challenge. Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. Look how big this thing is. Rachel. Do we have any more dirty laundry? Huh? Do we have any more dirty laundry? Look how awesome this thing is. Isn't oh this? Oh my gosh. Because stand in front of that. Look how awesome that is. It's as long as the whole bar. Oh my gosh, it's like Rachel size. Don't knock that thing over. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is so totally worth this challenge. How much food could I buy with this? What would my food budget be with this though? We're not gonna talk about that. So we're here at Aldi's and I think this is gonna be the best place to go to get everything on a budget. If they don't have something here, I figure we'll go to Walmart, which is like right across the street. I feel super classy right now with the trash bag in our back window. <laughs> My poor window, look at that. Hopefully tomorrow they're gonna fix it. Hopefully. So uh, I got a flash sale for you. This okay. is a one-time offer. You have to take it up now and you have to take it up for the entire week. It is buy one, get one free on drinks. So you can, for $1 a day, you have, okay. to be, you have to do one dollar a day. Okay. You can have your choice of any four drinks, coffee, seltzer water, or Zevia. You get four of them for a dollar because we said 50 cents a piece. So right now, buy one, get one free. One dollar gets you four drinks a day, but you have to do all five days. You can't pick and choose days. So if I did that though, then I'm down to $20. You're down to $4 a day for your food. Four dollars a day for all of your food. I th I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna drink water. And I'm gonna make you another offer. If you can eat all of your food, okay, for four dollars a day, I can definitely eat all my but food. <laughs> if you can come in under budget, okay. So you have to have at least a dollar left at the end of the week. I will pay for you to get a manicure. Hmm. Or, I'm just saying. Or, I could just have you paint my toenails. I said a manicure, not a pedicure. Well, I would really like a pedicure. 
So you want me to paint your toenails? I think that that's fair. Since I'm on a budget, to live like we're on a budget. Okay, deal. I'll paint your toenails. But I will still pay for you to get a manicure if you can come in under budget for all your food. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Let's head into Aldi's and see what's going on in there. Okay, so Aldi's has this ground beef. It's $73.27. It's $7 for three pounds. And I'm almost positive it's cheaper to buy ground beef at Walmart. So I'm gonna hold off on this and then run across the street for Walmart. So I need two sticks of butter. How many sticks do you need? I would say two. So you wanna just split a four pack? That would be $1.50 a piece for the butter. That sounds good. Okay. You owe me a dollar fifty. I'll put it on my bill. Look what we just found at Aldi's. They have their own Who Needs the Bagel seasoning. This is exciting. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, check out Aldi's. It's a dollar ninety-five. Way cheap. Did you get your quarterback? I got my quarterback because every quarter counts this week. Okay, let's quickly go over what we got. Yeah, considering that like you were picking up sour cream, cream cheese, I'm like, there is no way you're gonna stay on budget and be able to get all of your calories in. I had to make some hard choices, some <laughs> flavored choices back there. Let's go over what we got. So, okay, so I do have eggs down on the ground. I'm not gonna pull those out, obviously. I okay. know what a dozen eggs looks so like. So we each did our own receipt to make sure we get this right, okay? So I bought this. I bought the romaine lettuce because I'm gonna do like um, probably some egg salad, uh, maybe some burgers, things like that. That was $2.19. I bought three dozen eggs. The eggs were 85 cents a dozen. I mean, Thank you, Aldi's. We're not doing pasteurized this week, which it's not gonna be as flavorful, but this is about being on a budget. Yep. So I bought three dozen eggs, and then I bought a thing of cheddar cheese so I could make some chaffles if I just wanna add cheese to my eggs, put cheese on burgers, ground beef, stuff like that. Oh, and then I bought butter, but we're all, I'm only using two sticks. We're splitting the butter because I only need probably about 14, you know, uh, tablespoons of butter for the week. So you owe me a dollar fifty. All right. You want this right now? I want my dollar fifty. You, you owe me a dollar fifty. Well, I only have two dollars, so you better give me change. Here, fifty cents. Two dollars. We're even. All right. Okay. So in total, I spent in all these eleven dollars and twelve cents, but you got to take out the dollar fifty. So what does that come out to be? Uh, Ten dollars and twelve cents, uh, nine dollars and like sixty-two cents, something like that. And I'm gonna go to Walmart. We're gonna get ground beef. Now I'm going to reserve five dollars. Okay. For stuff that we have at home, if I want to use a little bit of heavy cream, we're gonna charge per serving. That's how I'm gonna do it per serving. So I'll figure out exactly how much a tablespoon is like we figured out based on how much we paid for it right uh, but i'm gonna make some of my own avocado oil mayonnaise i want in on that and yeah rachel said she wants that as well and we buy our avocado oil the cheapest place for us to buy it is at costco so we're gonna go per ounce i need eight ounces of it so by the time we add in the mustard and all the other stuff it's two dollars and fifty cents plus it's cost you an egg Wow. So okay, you gotta so I let, got the you, egg. You've got, but so for the eight ounces, it's like of avocado oil. It comes up to be like two dollars and thirty cents. Okay, so I want my own jar. You make your own jar. I'll make my own jar. So it's gonna cost you two dollars and fifty cents out of whatever you have left. Okay. To make your own avocado oil mayonnaise. Plus, you have to contribute one of your eggs that you bought. What? Which is fine because okay. I bought a lot of eggs. Okay. So what did you buy, real quick? I bought um, a. We're gonna save my receipt. A bag of cheddar cheese. Okay. I bought a romaine heart for me because I think I'm just going to want like crunch. Right. Um, I treated myself, this was my big splurge, was some bacon. I thought about bacon. But I think it's going to add a lot of flavor. I love it on my hamburgers, you know, or with my hamburgers, like in the ground beef, like chopped up. And then I think it'd be good to make egg cups or something. I thought about the, the bacon, but my thing with the bacon was I was looking at like dollar for dollar, calorie for calorie. I and know. I'm like, I'm going to get a lot more. So like I envy you. Yeah. So, um, and then I bought four dozen eggs. I'm like leaning heavy on the eggs. So remember you can't exceed your protein. I know, but I've got $10 left. 
but two dollars and fifty cents of it has to so you go have to seven fifty left for ground beef, and if you want any incidentals, so how much did you actually spend in all? This? I all together I spent twelve dollars and eighty seven cents, and then add a dollar, so dollar fifty, so that'd be thirteen eighty seven. So yeah, yeah, you've got seven dollars and fifty cents. So I better hope that that chub of hamburger. <laughs> is under $7.50. Do you not feel foolish like carrying a giant chub of meat it's over your- It's not a chub, it's a log. Do you feel like a caveman? So I got my ground beef. I got 10 pounds of ground beef. It was $19.82. And I got nothing because I can't afford to shop at Walmart. Rachel can't afford Walmart. Their ground beef is an extra dollar. It's yeah. an extra dollar. Yeah. They've raised their prices because they used to sell the 7327 of ground beef and it was ten dollars for five pounds so they've raised their prices a little bit yeah because the three pounds were seven dollars and 98 cents versus at aldi's it's six dollars and 99 cents i think yeah well i'll tell you what since i'm doing 7327 i actually only need seven pounds like six to seven pounds of ground beef so i actually have an extra three pounds of ground beef so i will sell you my extra three pounds of ground beef at a bargain price of only six dollars so oh now you're God. only paying two dollars a pound so you save a dollar buying it from the guy on the street yeah but that's not safe don't buy street meat like that do you want to buy my ground beef or not you I, save a dollar yeah i mean because I, how much money do you have left roughly i have ten dollars you have ten dollars left but you're going to use 250 towards your avocado oil mayonnaise so seven dollars and fifty cents so you have 750 left so if you give me six dollars give me six dollars I have a 10 and I need I've, change back because I don't trust you. Okay, I have change. Okay. One, two, there's $3. That's I owe you four. A, I owe you a dollar. Hold on. Here you go. Wait, are you giving me change? I don't want change. 50, 75. You better not give me pennies, sir. Oh, I have pennies to give you. No. Okay, so there's $4. Okay, so I have $4 left. You have $4 left, but then you owe two fifty dollars for the avocado oil mayonnaise. So I'm going to pay in that right Are now. Are you going to so pay that two, now? Give me the quarters. And I need quarters in my car. Cents. Okay. And so I have a dollar. You have a dollar left. fifty left over, which you could use towards condiments in the house. We're going to make up a price chart of how much it is per tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Wow. Or sour cream or mustard and stuff. What a baggin'. So, so, so. So I've got about five dollars left. I don't know exactly how much. I'll have to add it up. But we're gonna go home and cook up our first meal on a budget. So what is this? Three pounds of meat? That's your three pounds of ground beef. This way you know exactly where yours is. Maybe I'm just gonna eat it all tonight. <laughs> okay, so first meal of the week, and it's gonna be an OMAD because it's 6:30 at night and we're just eating for the first time. So I have a ton of eggs, like eight eggs. I've got hamburger on top of lettuce and shredded cheese and I've got my ounce of mayonnaise right on top but for the day I'm doing good I have 1710 calories three net carbs I've got uh, 100 grams of protein and 141 grams of fat so I'm a little bit over my fat but I'm okay with it because I'm also under my calories and my net carbs are awesome okay so here's my food I've got uh, 20 ounces of the ground beef 73 27 with uh, a quarter of a cup of the cheddar cheese then I have four eggs that is cooked in the grease from the ground beef and then I have four chaffles, which is made with two eggs and a half a cup of cheddar cheese. And I will put the macros across the bottom of the screen. So that will be my one and only meal for the day. Well, it's Tuesday morning, the day and time, not the store. <laughs> I got my Grammar Police t-shirt on and I'm drinking my Zip Fizz. I'm not awake yet. It's like, what, 7.30? I just woke up. I have to take my car to get the window replaced, but I didn't go to bed until 5 o'clock this morning, so... Yay. Yay. I'm sitting here rationing out my food because Joe had me really scared last night that I wasn't going to be able to have enough food until the end of the week. Based on the way you ate that meal last night, I still don't think you have enough food. I think you're I going think to good. run out of food at the end of the week or you're not going to hit your macros one of the days. No, I'm going to be good. I'm, I'm putting it into chronometer like right now, but <laughs> I have a total appreciation for you putting stuff into chronometer every other day of my life because it is a pain. It is a pain in the butt. I do have some good news. Okay. 
I still have two extra drinks from yesterday. I only used two out of my four drinks that I bought for the BOGO of, you know, buy two, get two free. So today I can actually have six drinks. Well, I am packing up a big container of water. So day two lunch, I've got three eggs with about uh, a third of a cup of cheese, some romaine lettuce, one tablespoon of our mayonnaise, some seasoning, like the everything with the bagel seasoning, and I'm having a Zevia. That's the first meal for the day. End of day two, dinner time. Just got home from my game. So my dinner is going to be a pound of the 7327 ground beef. It's got three eggs that are kind of scrambled within it, along with some fresh jack spices. I've got a quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese on top of a bunch of the romaine heart lettuce. I've got a Zevia soda. This is my third drink of the day. But remember, I get a total of six because I only did two And I'm yesterday. drinking water. So I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee with a tablespoon of butter. It's going to be the first time I've touched the butter. I actually am going to end up this week with a lot of leftover food. I think I'm going to have two pounds of ground beef left. I'm going to have pretty much all the butter because the 73 ground beef, it's kind of misleading. Like I'm getting like way too much fat and not enough protein because there's so much fat in it. I don't need the butter. Same, I have been cooking my eggs, like I'm having eggs tonight, um, in my hamburger fat. Okay. And, and I haven't touched my butter yet either. Um, and I'm just making simple taco salad, just using the taco seasoning, because I do have access to seasonings. Yes. And topping it with mayonnaise, because I can't afford sour cream, but let me tell you, it's awesome. And again, the whole thing of mayonnaise costs you three bucks. So yeah. it's a lot cheaper than going and buying the Primal Kitchen or whatever, and you're getting just as healthy. And we found a little secret with the mayonnaise. If you want that mayonnaise really thick, like Hellman's thick, add an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan <laughs> gum Excuse into me. it before you start blending and emulsifying that oil. And I mean, it makes it like really, really thick. Really thick. So at the end of the week, if there's any food that you haven't used, we'll subtract that off and see if there's any money left. So like if you don't use a pound of ground beef, nice. then you can take that $2 off. I like it. Okay. Check in tomorrow. Good morning. It's 545 on Wednesday, day three of our budget challenge. I'm headed down to get the back glass repaired on my truck. That's why it's so dark out right now. Uh, we went yesterday, I had an appointment for 9 a.m., got down there, and they had the wrong glass. They ordered the stationary glass, and I had a power sliding rear window, so we had to wait another day. And while I was there, they took off the black plastic that I taped up and crash wrapped it with clear plastic so that I could see out the back window. So I'm headed down there. Rachel's going to meet me because they said it's going to take like three hours since they have to take out the back seats and everything to put the glass in. And in the meantime, I'm going to treat myself to a bang. I have almost $12 left for the week uh, with all the food that I already bought. And I think I'm going to have at the end of the week almost $5 of food left over that I'm not going to eat. I'm, I haven't touched any of the butter and I don't think I'm going to. And I think I'm going to have three pounds of ground beef left at the end too. So I'm super excited. That means I'm going to come in at the week at less than $30 for all of my food. And that includes um, drinking my Zevias, my coffee, and uh, some seltzer waters. I also think what I'm going to do is after we get back home, I'm going to run out and get a coupon for Rachel to surprise her so she can go get like a manicure and pedicure. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Rachel just picked me up. I still have, after treating myself to the bang, $10.28 left for the week. So I'm going to treat her to a coffee here at Racetrack. Yay! So since Joe is nice enough to buy me coffee, I'm gonna spend 30 cents and pop for some super creamer from Kai Tu because this stuff is really awesome. And I realized um, I don't just have a dollar in change left, I actually have one more dollar left because I'm only using four zip fizzes this week. So, cha-ching. So it's about 2.45 on Wednesday. I have a game in a little while. I'm about to have a seltzer water. I haven't eaten anything. And then I'm gonna go get Rachel and try to get her to go live to announce our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And we have a little present for her. Bo! It's Bo! Oh, he's coming to stay with us a couple of days. And I have all the mismatched socks on the bed. I was I'm, trying to find their mates. Those are all the mismatched ones. I don't know what all of these open laundry like cases are. <laughs> you want to go live and announce our 5,000 subscriber giveaway? <sighs> all right, let's do it. Okay, well, I have a surprise for you or present. 
you have been such a good sport with this, you know, um, <laughs> with this challenge for budget in a day. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like, we, it's not out of our budget. We've been saving money for this. Yeah. So I went and got you a gift certificate for you to what? get a set of tips and a pedicure. Oh, my God. Because I know you won't do it unless I get a certificate so that the money is already spent. Uh, you're in trouble. Okay, I'm home for my game. It's dinner time. I'm doing OMAD. I've got one pound of ground beef with three eggs scrambled in there and a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. On top of some lettuce, I have a zevia, and then I'm going to eat three hard-boiled eggs along with a tablespoon of mayonnaise. So that is dinner for Wednesday, day three of our budget challenge. Day four of the budget challenge. We're still in it, and I'm not totally broke yet. So it's three o'clock, um, my first meal of the day. I had a seltzer water earlier when I went to work. For lunch, I'm having three hard-boiled eggs mixed with one tablespoon of my homemade mayonnaise, some of the Fresh Jack's Jamaican uh, seasoning, I think it's called like Island Spice, Yes, it's so on good. some lettuce, and I'm gonna have a zevia. And then for dinner, I'm just gonna eat ground beef with three more eggs and some seasoning in it. Well, I've made my everything casserole. Literally all of the ingredients except for my romaine lettuce are in this casserole. I just baked it for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. It's awesome and as you can see, giant portion, which you know I and love. And a pool of fat sitting on the bottom. So much delicious fat. You know I'm licking this plate. Working with the 7327 ground beef is definitely interesting. It's everything just kind of piles everywhere. up. And I'm gonna try this new Brunch Life um, seasoning from Fresh Jacks. I'm excited because it's like everything but the bagel. And I'm having water, but I have it in a fun glass, so I'm not crying too hard. <laughs> I did have a zip fizz this morning. Okay. But that's it. Okay, it's the end of day four. We made it. It's dinner time. It's late. It's like 7.30. We we're doing a bunch of running around filming some videos today. That's why we're just going to like eat in bed. Yeah. So yeah, this is how we relax. We eat in bed and we watch TV. It's about the only time I get to watch TV, but... We're dorks. <laughs> then I go back to work. So I'm having what I've basically been my staple the entire time. It's a pound of ground beef. It's got two eggs scrambled in. It doesn't look pretty. But it no. tastes really good. It looks terrible. Then I've got some Cajun seasoning in there. It's on top of some romaine lettuce. And then I've got two chaffles. I've got a Waterloo drink. And then I still have two more left for the day that I haven't drank yet. Well, I have, I'm drinking water. I've been doing really well. And I mean, I, thankfully I'd already done that coffee fast. So I haven't <laughs> been missing coffee um, every single day. Which you did buy me coffee yesterday. Right. So. Um, and then I have my casserole, cool. big giant piece on top of romaine lettuce. I had to throw out some of the romaine lettuce. It went bad already. All right, getting day five started with my Limon Zip Fizz in my mason jar, my favorite. We've got squeaky McSqueakerton here. Day five, starting my day off with one serving of super creamer. That'll cost me 30 cents. Or, and then a coffee. We'll finish up the video when you get home from work and when I get home from work, and we'll just kind of go over what we're gonna eat for the rest of the day and then how much money we have left because even after that coffee, I think I still have like $8 left and that's not even including the extra food that I didn't eat. You're the Monopoly millionaire guy. So this is what I'm eating, a taco salad with a bacon and hamburger and an egg. Now that I see them together, I should have put the taco salad in the egg because it almost looks like a bowl, right? Like a taco bowl. I love it. I've topped it with mayonnaise and I'm using some of Joe's taco seasoning. I am super happy right now because we did really well. We did really good. So it's day five, it's lunchtime, but we're gonna wrap up the video now even though we haven't eaten dinner because I have a game tonight. You've got a bunch of things that you need to do. So we're just gonna kind of go over. So you already saw Rachel ate for lunch. Um, I'm having three eggs with a tablespoon of mayonnaise, some cheese on top of romaine lettuce. And then for dinner, I'm gonna have what I've been eating, which is a pound of ground beef, three more eggs, some more cheese, some more romaine lettuce. And it's been good. Oh, and I'm having a Zevia for lunch. And I'm stuck with water, but that's all right. So let's go over like how we ended up for the week. So I started, I had $40. I had $10 more than Rachel because I had to eat like almost 600 calories more than her. Uh, I spent $9.62 in Aldi. 
$13.98 in Walmart because I spent $19.98, but I charged Rachel. She gave me $6 for her ground beef. I spent $5 on drinks because we did buy one, get one free, which I didn't even drink all the drinks. I only drank two to three a day. Then I splurged for a dollar for a bang and a dollar to buy you coffee. That was nice. And then I spent 35 cents on creamer one day. And then I spent $2.50 on oil to make my own mayonnaise. Now, somebody's going to say like, wait a second, a dollar for a bang, that's a ripoff. But we did get them at GNC. Well, that one I actually bought at GNC and it and was a dollar. spent a dollar. They were on sale. Yep. So at the end, after all that, I had $6.55 left. But now I still have food left. So we're going to take that off as well because we want to figure out how much did it cost for me to eat. So I have five eggs left. Um, that would cost 35 cents because we spent 85 cents on the eggs. Mm -hmm. I have two pounds of ground beef left, which I gave to the kids, but that would be $4 for the ground beef. Wow. And then I didn't use any of the butter. So I have $1.50 worth of butter left, which means at the end, I have $12.47 left. To add back. To, well, no, total. That's okay. what I have left after taking out the food that I didn't eat. So that means for the week, I spent $27.60 on all of my food, which is $5.52 a day. Wow. Now that again is taking into account that I bought you a coffee and I splurged on a bang. If you take that out, I spent $5.10 a day for almost 2,300 calories per day. Yeah, because you're not feeding like a little sparrow. Yeah, that wasn't a 1,200 calorie thing, you know, people, and we've done it where you say, here's a $4 a day thing. That was 2,300 calories a day. That's a lot. And again, that also included, you know, buying drinks. So this is my result. So I only had $30 to shop with. I spent $4 right off the top on Zip Fizz. That mm -hmm. was a wise budgeting decision. Which originally was $5, but we started this on Monday on a whim. And I didn't and drink And she one. didn't drink the Zip Fizz on Monday. So that don't count. Um, I got, I spent a $12.87 at Aldi's. Um, I bought his Brown by beef. the side of the road beef for $6. $1.50 in butter. Yep. Um, I did splurge one day for 35 cents worth of coffee creamer. On the coffee that I bought her. Totally worth it. <laughs> and then for Joe's homemade mayonnaise, $2.50. So what do I have left after all of that spending was $2.78. So let's go through what you have left. You have a dozen eggs left? Or you have, have a half a dozen eggs left? I have, what is four? You have a half a dozen 12. eggs. I have eight. Yeah. I have eight eggs left. Okay. Um, I have 14 tablespoons of butter left, almost the entire two sticks. Um, I have an entire romaine heart left. Okay. So it came in a bag of three and I still have um, one whole one left. So basically I had $2.47 of groceries to add back in to my $2.78 okay. that I had left over. So I'm, I had $5.25 left. Wow. That meant I only spent $24.75 this week and it wound up being $4.95 a meal. And again, that was for 1,700 calories. Yeah. Right? And you included Zip Fizz in there. Which is so, a huge splurge. Yeah, which is a huge splurge. So I think you did really good. Yay. Good job. A nice little side effect of this, which I didn't even think about, because we were on such a tight budget, couldn't have any keto treats, had no keto desserts, nothing like that. The only thing we did do this week off of budget was we did a sample of ice cream from or Killer Creamery, but that was video. sent to us and we literally each had like two spoons of it. Yeah. But because I didn't have any keto treats or anything, my ketones this week have been higher than normal. Like yeah. normally for me, my ketones are like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 during the day. On our keto coach. And uh, my ketones have been like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 because it's been so super low carb and just eating really, really high fat. Because I came in, you know, you saw the each one of them somewhere around 78% fat for the day each time. And I like this result because I think a lot of people think that if they can't afford to buy all of the keto stuff and keto snacks, that they won't be successful right. on, on this diet. But obviously that is not true because yep. we were able to hit our macros and keep our ketone levels way up just eating very low budget stuff. Right. 
So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section uh, what kind of a budget you usually deal with and also give us some ideas for some more challenges. I was actually thinking of maybe like a dairy-free challenge for a week. Wow. Or a fish-only challenge for a week. Oh something like Lord. that. So let us know some different ideas that we could have for different challenges down below. Wait a second. What? We're not doing a week of organ meat. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> I want to just make that really clear right up front. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time. Bye. bye.